stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends Moon Knight. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And before we get started, please, please, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Honestly, help this tiny channel grow. If you're into Marvel Legends, I promise you, you are in the right place place. So let's get into it because today is all about this Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Moon Knight. And yes, this is just as much a surprise to me as it is to you as none of us expected to get this so early. So I've got a couple of thank yous to make. Firstly, thanks to the Marvel Legends Whisperer Rectangular. Honestly, the number one source for all your Marvel Legends news and rumours based on facts. And secondly, special thanks to Super powertoys.co.uk this is where i brought my moon knight from i believe he still has some in stock right now so i'll put the links in description but if you want this moon knight i got mine from superpowertoys.co.uk relatively new site but 100 percent legit trustworthy Tons of good stuff on there. Honestly, go and check them out. Links in the description below. Superpowertoys.co.uk Now, let's get into it. Moon Knight, shall we? So this is the Moon Knight we all wanted. Mark Spector in his shiny white gear. So this is going to be a Walgreens exclusive in the UK. Honestly, because we don't have Walgreens in the UK, thankfully we get some of these straight away. So uh, not complaining. Uh, we get some new staff, some of his moomerangs. He comes with fisted hands, a couple of interchangeable hands, and we're getting two interchangeable heads as well. He looks so nice, white and crispy in the box. I'm scared to touch it and get like my greasy hands all over it. But uh, it looks great in the box with this white packaging and the white figure. It really does. Uh, on the side of the box, we get a picture of Moon Knight. On the back, we're getting a little uh, promo picture, no wave association at all, but we do get a little bio that reads, a vision in an Egyptian temple leads Mark Spector to don the shroud and become the crime fighting hero, Moon Knight. So as I said, looking forward to this one. Um, looks so good. Definitely gonna do some comparisons with the previous Moon Knight. Um, and yeah, check out the articulation, all that good stuff. So without further ado, people, let's get into it. So here we have Moon Knight out of the box, looking very nice. First impressions for this guy are quite high. It is the Moon Knight we have wanted, the all white attire, and it's on the 2099 Spider-Man body, so that you know the articulation range is gonna be much improved upon from the previous version, which I think was just on a bookie cap with some new molding. Uh, but yes, this looks good. He comes with the same staff that Gambit got. He comes with the same boomerangs that we've got before. Uh, a different head sculpt with the sort of uh, blacked mask uh, and the white eyes, if you prefer that version. Obviously, I'll show you that in a minute. Comes with two hands. That one looks like a trigger finger, even though he has no gun. But I'm assuming it's to hold the moomerangs. And again, this one for the moomerangs. And then the fists actually do have the little holes in. So you can put these three little tiny moomerangs in. And I'll show you that when I zoom in. But just first impressions looking good. So let me... Uh, Zoom in and let's see if we can find anything wrong with this uh, shiny white body. So taking a close look at Moon Knight, it does look quite clean and crisp. And because it's on a white body, if there was any blemishes or any marks, that'd be very, very obvious. And so far, so good. So he has the Crescent Moon logo on the chest, which is nicely painted. It looks very clean there, to be fair. Silver with the black outline. I can't really tell if they're shading there. Maybe it's just the shadows with the sculpt. I do think that's the case under all these lights I've got on. I do think that the sculpt work with the white body is sort of casting shadows, which actually shows off the sculpt really well. See, the belt's a separate piece, riding a little high there, but that's not a problem. I can pull that down and it will hide uh, the waist articulation. It's sort of a pearlescent sort of belt, his utility belt. Moving down to the sort of feet. He's got the flat feet, but he has like this pearlescent shin guard. Same with the wrists. They are a different shade of white. Um, same as the bout, uh, all three pieces. But yeah, just first impressions. It's looking very clean, to be fair. Taking a closer look at the first head sculpt, if it will focus for me, you can see that the eyes are whited out, but they've got the black outline. And they do have a little bit of a sort of dark blue or black shading around them. And that is the same if we turn the, it around on the hood. There's definitely some shading work there on the hood. And the cape is the same cape that we got with the previous Moon Knight. So if I take the cape off, 
you'll see for yourself. Same cake that we got before, it does have a little peg and then the Moon Knight has a little hole in it. But yeah, no shading on that at all. I do think it's just the light casting shadows. And uh, let me pop this head back on. And again, there's definitely shading on that head. But you can't take the hood off, obviously. But even the back of the figure looks very clean. So obviously there's no real crazy articulation. The hood will hide that little black writing that we're never going to get rid of on these Hasbro figures, unfortunately. But yeah, it does look very clean and nice, doesn't it? And again, get yourself a cloth cape with this guy. I think getting a cloth cape in replacement of this in a crescent moon sort of shape, getting this guy on a flight stand, he's going to look very nice in the collection. Um, as Moon Knight wants his enemies to see him coming. But as I said, there is a peg hole and a peg for the cape. And uh, yeah, looking good. So let me swap out that head sculpt. But there's Moon Knight with the second head sculpt on there. And as I said, it does definitely give a different sort of vibe for Moon Knight if you prefer that. And uh, the eyes are whited out, but the sculpt of the actual face is black. So if I zoom in, it sort of looks like a dark, dark blue, but it if definitely is black. You can probably just about see those beady eyes. Sort of looks like an evil Moon Knight, to be honest, but he definitely sometimes has the, the black face with the white hood. In the comics but yeah that is definitely an option if you want it um menacing okay moon knight comes packed with a pair of fisted hands which look great but they do actually have the holes in the fists so you could put the moomerangs in now they're small enough so you're not even going to notice them uh, on display if you wanted your moon knight just to have the fists but these tiny moomerangs are so small make sure you don't drop them in your carpet uh but let's try and put them in the wrist. There you go, I've put the Moomerangs in the actual fist. Um, wasn't easy uh, with my big fat thumbs. I would have probably advised getting some uh, um, tweezers and doing it, but they will fit in there, give them sort of a more claw effect. Um, but yeah, it's a tight squeeze, uh, especially that middle one. And again, they will probably fall out if I shaked him. Maybe not, I don't know, let's shake him. No, they seem to be staying in there. Um, but yeah, I would be scared to display them on the shelf like this in case uh, he lost them. But uh, they do look good. Okay, so his other set of hands are sort of like trigger fingers. Um, but they are obviously for his Moomerang. So I will try the Moomerangs and a gun. So there he is holding his Moomerangs and the tight grip in the right hand, but it's very loose in the left. As you can see, it just fell out. So the left hand seems more suited for a gun. Uh, but he doesn't come with a gun. I will say though the Moomerangs are the exact same ones we've seen with the last Moon Knight. That's not a problem. They are what they are. But yeah, the, the right grip is a lot stronger than the left grip, uh, as you can see. And then here we have Moon Knight holding a gun. And you can see that hand is like a perfect trigger finger hand as the finger actually goes in the trigger. And this is the gun that come with uh, the Deadly Origins uh, Black Widow. But yeah, that looks good. Here he is with his staff, and again, the grip in the right hand is much better than the grip in the left. So uh, the left is pretty loose, but because of the articulation, you're going to be able to get this guy in some great poses with the staff. And yes, the staff, the exact same staff that come with Gambit. There's Gambit of the silver one. So if you actually wanted Moon Knight to have a silver staff rather than uh, the white one, then that is something you can do very, very easily. Sorry, Gambit, you've been robbed. Okay, this guy's looking great, but let's get into some articulation. So, for that, I'm obviously going to remove uh, the cape because, let's be honest, that will hinder the articulation. And people are more interested in what is the base body for this Moon Knight. And it is probably one of the best ones that Marvel Legends have in their arsenal right now. It is the Spider-Man 2099 body with these butterfly joints at the front. And to prove that, here is Spider-Man 2099. Um, and as you can see, apart from the differences at the obviously shins and then the wrists, the upper body is definitely the same. Even all the ab sculpting and uh, these butterfly joints at the front, all the way around on the back as well. So yeah, this is a great base body. So you, if you have this figure, you already know the range of articulation you're going to get on this guy. But let's uh, quickly zoom in and have a look, shall we? So, butterfly joints. You know if you manipulate the shoulder, so if you bring the joint in there, you can get the hands all the way in, uh, which actually cross like that. 
so you can actually get the hands crossed which you know is a rare thing for an action figure you can virtually get him crossing his hands in that sort of pose but uh, yeah there is articulation there these butterfly joints very nice decent range back and forward of course um shoulder obviously you can spin it all the way around there is a bicep swivel as well double jointed elbows but it's not going to go all pull the way because of this uh, sort of wrist guard thing both hands all four sets of hands have a joint uh, uh side to side rather than an up and down um decent range on the ab all the way down all the way back and again there is waist articulation hidden by that belt if i move the belt up you can spin him all the way around legs go out about that much there's a cut up there at the thigh double jointed knees robo will like this because he can kick his own butt um, there is a swivel hidden very cleverly at the top of the shins and then of course there's ankle pivot with a great range so again if you're a fan of articulation you're in the acba community then uh, i do think you're going to really like this moon knight figure great base body looking good so here we have our moon knight comparison this is the moon knight that come in the vulture builder figure wave the more modern version of mark specter there is a fuller review of this guy on the channel i'll put it in the little eye in the corner um, and i did do a who is he segment for moon knight so if you want to learn more about moon knight um, and you like my who is he segments go and check out the review for this guy i'll put the link in the description and in the little eye in the corner but this is the more modern rendition it's on a much bulkier body than this new sort of slender slick moon knight but you could say this is your armored up moon knight that's probably why he's bulkier uh, i do think the neutral stance for this guy is a lot better on this body and this is definitely my mind's eye version of mark specter all white he's he wants his enemies to see him coming so he wears all white um yeah this is definitely going to be the main moon knight on my shelf looks great the articulation is so much better and it's a tiny bit shorter than this previous one as well so yeah this will be my moon uh, armored moon knight at the back uh, but this this all white Walgreens exclusive one is definitely the winner while we've got the black background out it's another opportunity to show off this deadly origins black widow in the her all white outfit and these two look great together there against the black here we have Moon Knight compared to Daredevil. This is the one that come in the Amazon uh, exclusive four pack with the Defenders. I believe Moon Knight has been in the Defenders as well in the comics. And again, these two both look great together. They're all white, they're all red. Very nice. And then one more for look. Here we have Moon Knight compared to the brand new Gamerverse Outback Hulk. And there is a full review on the channel right now of this guy. And uh, yeah, even they look good together. Pow! So final thoughts, I'm very happy with this Moon Knight. This is definitely the Moon Knight I wanted for my collection and I can't really ask for more from Hasbro and Marvel at the £20 price point. It comes with all the accessories I would expect. It's probably on the best body mold that they have available for this type of athletic character. Great range of articulation. Looking forward to getting a cloth cape on this guy so I can get him up on a decent flight stand in a good pose. But yeah, this guy's looking great. No complaints from me. Um, um, the all white is nice and clean. I can't find anything bad with it. What can I say? So if you want yours and you're interested in getting this in the US, this is going to be a Walgreens exclusive. So I wish you luck. But if you're in the UK and you want yours right now, then I'll say it again. Super powertoys.co.uk have him in stock right now what are you waiting for you could have him in your hands uh, very very soon and add him to your collection mark specter the moon knight looking very nice so you let me know what you think in the comments below as always but most importantly you know what to do please 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 hit that subscribe button much much appreciated and as always if you want to support the channel that little bit more you can over on patreon links in the description below but until then people my name has been dan w and i will of course see you on the next one